Evolve. Don't devolve. My grade 12 here, it might have seemed successful on paper, but deep down, deep in my heart, I wasn't improving on myself. I wasn't improving. In fact, I was plateauing in all aspects of my life. Now that I look back, that was, I'll be honest here, the hardest year of my life. And in some aspects, I'm grateful for it. In some aspects, I do have a bit of regrets. But let me just tell you, plateauing and feeling like you're not going anywhere in life, no matter how hard you try, definitely is not a great feeling. Now, I'm filming this video because I don't want you to plateau. You might be plateauing in your life. You might be in that period of your life where you just don't seem like you're going anywhere. Well, this video will hopefully teach you the basics of what a good journal, a journaling habit, and what a good reflective and visualization system can do for you. And at least make you continuously evolve and not devolve. Now, we get to the juicy part. Step number one. The first step is actually just getting a journal. Having a system where you can reflect and note down your thoughts. Now, this can either be in the form of a journal or at least some sort of digital journal or note taking app that you have. Whatever works for you. Step number two is having a reflection system. Three sets of questions or one set of three questions that you ask yourself every day. You can ask other questions or at least write down things that you are grateful for. This will uh, allow you to develop a, a grateful mindset. Okay, the next step is a system of visualization. Fuck, that's a hard word to say. Now, this system will allow you to envision your goals, have the wildest of fucking dreams, and make them come true. One really good step in which I found uh, that really helps me reach the goals that I, or at least reach the dreams, the milestones I've set for myself, is having the mindset that your life is your own movie. Uh -huh. You've been told this many times, but really think of your life as your own movie. You might be at the most messed up stage of your life right now, but if you can write the movie, write what you, the protagonist of this movie, what he goes through or what he or she or, or they go through to achieve that greatest version of themselves by the end of the movie. Everybody loves an underdog movie, right? Everybody loves a movie where they start from the absolute bottom of society and rise up to the top or at least achieve their greatest potential. Everybody loves those types of movies because everybody wants to be that person. You can be that person. Now, I want you to also write down the milestones that you will reach in order to reach that greatest version of yourself and also write down micro milestones, so goals basically that you can achieve that you have to achieve to level up and reach that milestone and i want you to literally obsess over these goals and have these goals take a picture of this fucking hero's journey and set it as the background of your phone or your computer or tape it on your fucking wall and wake up and look at it every single day and you my friend will notice that you will slowly get closer and closer to your goals Last but not least, step four, just do it. Okay, memes aside, really, I have this in every video, but this is the most important part of it, is applying the things I tell you, applying the things that other people tell you, applying the things that you yourself tell yourself that are good for you. Implement it somehow into your day. I can't tell you how you can implement it because this is something that you have to experience for yourself. I'm not even half a year into self-improvement and I've, I've seen a lot of improvements in myself. Imagine five or so years, five, six years. That's when you really see the big changes. Just do it. Repetition is the mother of mastery, of success. Now, quoting another book, a lovely book that I've read, Atomic Habits. Now, James Clear describes an experiment. 
I don't remember which university particularly. However, they have a photography program. Uh, this researcher or the professor splits the, the upcoming class of photography up into two sections. Now, the first section is uh, solely focused on taking as many pictures as possible. And the other section is focused on taking as, or at least only taking one picture, but making this picture the most perfect one. Which group do you think took the best photo? If you guessed the quality group, so the one that took the most perfect photo, you're wrong. It's the quantity group that took the best photos. By co consistently repeating it over and over again, they actually managed to have tens or dozens of other photos that were better than the perfect photo group. That tells you something about repetition. So just get up, do it again and again, and you will see results. Remember, if you wanna see the rainbow, you gotta put up with the rain. Peace. Look, there is a reason why women live longer than men. It's because us men, we have our sexual organs outside of our body. And that has to do something about our lifespan.